Thank you. Mrs. T, good evening. Hello, good evening. Where are we? We're in the Limelight Club. In the Limelight Club yes. on Britannia. Beautiful place. Look at the setting. It's absolutely stunning. And there's the stage. So we're very close. Excellent entertainment this evening. At four, we have entertainment. We have food. Um, so, we have the menu for the limelight. So this is before we sit down and eat. So, um, this has cost us £35 a head, I think it is. Yeah. I think that's for the food and the entertainment. The food and the entertainment. I think we have to spend... Um, £900 on alcohol. No, 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 it's the same sort of prices. Actually, if you turn it over, you can see the prices of the alcohol. So a starter, <laughs> trying to get the main course focused. The main course, and dessert. That's a three course meal. And then there's the wine. Oh yeah, can buy the wine by the glass You can, yeah, yes, wine by the glass, large glass, small glass bottle. Uh, some of them you can only buy it by the bottle. We have, we are drinking red wine, aren't we? And we're trialling different wines most evenings, yeah. But you can see the prices are not overly expensive. They're about the same as they are at home. So a small glass of red is about 6 75 6 25 6 95 You can buy a little bit more. What do you fancy for your food then? So I just want to talk about the entertainment we've got in here tonight because we can't video the entertainment for obvious reasons. Um, but the lady who's here tonight is the drag act. Uh, and it's called Lavoie. 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 Yeah, I'm not sure. Can I be. No. Can I be Lavoie? Yeah. Yes. No, absolutely. Um, so she apparently has been in Absolutely Fabulous. Yep. And Britain's Got Talent yep. finalist as well, I understand. Yeah, I think so, or in the 70s or something. Um, she performs cabaret. Oh, Cracking singer, apparently. She does share. Shelly Bassey, yeah. Um, yeah, and also very funny. Yeah. And she's a comedian as well. So really looking forward to the entertainment. So that's going to be good. And really looking forward to the food because I haven't eaten for four hours. And I am starving. <laughs> but we will share our food with you. Yes, as it, as it happens. As it happens while we're in the limelight on Britannia. Mm. Crossing the Atlantic on day five. five. Due to hit Ponte Delgado tomorrow. Yes. Perfect. See you all again soon. Right, um, uh, can we turn the label around? Okay, uh, we're not wine connoisseurs, but we've gone tonight for a bottle of. Can't, can't catch the label for some reason. Uh, oh, there we go, got it. Uh, spin it to me a little bit more. Perfect. Little Eden, Australian Shiraz Cabernet. Uh, it's out of date, it's 2021, but that doesn't matter. I know, we always get the out of date wine, don't we? Do we? Um, but just to let you know, we went for a bottle and that was £24. So for a bottle of red wine, is 24 quid, which I think is pretty reasonable. Cheers. Cheers. And what's it taste like, Mrs. T? It's quite a fruity one, isn't it, actually? Yeah. So there you go. There yeah. is... It means we don't guzzle it. Okay. Anyway, there you go. We'll get some food soon. Hopefully. So we've just been given something special. Just a little sort of... She said some grissini sticks, some aubergine something or other. It's like an aubergine dip and, and uh, some olives. And some olives. Just a little snacky thing to keep us going until oh. our starter comes. Oh, yeah, it looks like a dip. Yeah, it looks yeah. like a dip with some olive oil. Very nice. Well, you won't so, eat, you won't eat the no, olives to me are not pleasant. But <laughs> there you go. Um, so that's it. Just something that wasn't on the menu and is a little bit of a surprise. I'm going to double dip. Are you really? There we go. Sorry. Mrs. T likes to double dip. Good work. Yeah. So, yes. starters now. Yes. You've got this ravioli, isn't it? I can't remember what's in it. That's the vegan one, wasn't it? Is it like spinachy? Oh no, it's buffalo, 
buffalo cheese, mozzarella, buffalo mozzarella, and herbs. So it's definitely not vegan, no. not if it's mozzarella. No. So let me just let me just. What's that? Like a chili sauce. Smells very, very nice. Everything does. Right. So that's like buffalo mozzarella. Right. Let, me just, let me just dip this in here. Mm, yeah, very nice. Mm, yeah. Perfect. And I've got chicken breast. Okay. Um, it looks a lot more, more than just chicken breast, though. Yeah, chicken breast with. Um, sauce on it. <laughs> Isn't it? I think it's got caramelised onions and there's some sour kraut there and other things that sound very nice. Yeah, but if you were paying attention when you did the menu, right? Well, I did. Well, in that case, then you'll be able to remember what it was, but at the moment, you're right, not okay, what right, it was. Oh, right, okay, right, no, we can't. So, bon appetit, Mrs. T. Thank you, my darling. Cheers. So now it's time for the main course. Yes. You've gone for venison. I've gone for venison. There's a good portion of venison on there. It looks it lovely. Is. What condiments do you have with venison though? Um, salt and pepper. Uh, apparently, because they came and gave you sort of like mint sauce with your lamb, but they didn't mention anything about venison, so I'm assuming yeah. I don't really get anything then. No, I don't think so. Okay, but I've got a big bit of broccoli though. A big bit of broccoli, and I've got some lamb. And I've got some mint sauce on that, and lots of vegetables and tomatoes, and that looks like a sort of um, potato-y thing. I've got some sort of rosti. Yeah. Thing, that yeah, that looks good. Yeah. The rosti, yeah. Rosti that lives underneath my um, broccoli. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Smells wonderful. The plates are so hot. Yeah. Like it's they unbelievable. Are, uh, quite so yeah. Bon appetit, Mrs. Yes. T. So Mrs. T, serious now, mm -hmm. what did you think of your dinner? Mm, it was lovely. Well, yeah, I, mean, I ate it all. Um, I found a load of red cabbage underneath my venison. Was it nice though? Was, was the venison nice? Yeah. yeah. To be honest with you, I mean, does venison normally taste of anything? Well, it's usually quite rich. It was, yes. It's a rich meat. Yeah, it didn't taste like beef and it didn't taste that's like right. lamb. No. Yeah, that's why. Right. It's just a richness. Did it taste of anything? Really? Okay. I'll be honest. It, yeah. It just, it just tasted nice. And when I had sort of like the, the gravy with it, the gravy was... It tasted a little gravy, if that makes sense. I think you might find the chefs call it a zui. <laughs> Not gravy. Okay. So it tasted of the gravy. So the zui. Zui, yeah. So, yeah, it tasted nice. Yeah. And uh, mine was... Just as lovely. Yeah. As was the bottle of wine, which is now finished, deceased. 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 And we're on our last glass. We're, we're just, just sitting there wondering. We're just saying, do we go for a second? Because what we've got next, we've still got dessert, yeah. possibly a sorbet, yeah. a trio and of a trio of dessert. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a good hour or so, a couple of hours of entertainment. entertainment. What do we have? So perhaps we should go for another bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. Such a headache in the well, you're not because we could always go up to the buffet restaurant afterwards and fill up on bread and butter pudding. No, no, oh, sorry, no. we've only got a half a can of water left as well. In our bar. So, look, I'm not precious about water, I'll drink it out of the taps. Oh, but I am precious. Well, you can have tap water and I'll have some stuff out there. Okay, anyway, this isn't about you and your hangover, <laughs> is it not? <laughs> It's the most wine I've drunk in months. Um, so we'll come back to you shortly when, when we get the dessert. When we get to see the dessert. Yeah, yes. perfect. Time for food. Okay. So we've got a, like a chocolate mousse. Have a, have a, have a... Is that a strawberry ice cream? I don't know. It looks like a strawberry ice cream. Some mint. It's like a mousse. Yeah. That looks like a raspberry. Yeah. That's raspberry. Yeah. White chocolate. White chocolate chips. And then sort of like a moosey type thing. Yeah. Mmm. Tasty. Very tasty. Very, very tasty. 
It's always tasty. It's tasty, tasty, very, very, very tasty. tasty. It's, it's very, very tasty. tasty. It's very tasty. And who, who, what famous um, soap actor did that advert? I've got no idea. I don't know. Ross Kemp. But what was it for? For um, crunching that cornflakes. And Ross Kemp was the actor in that was um, really? advert before he went on to his senders. There you go, a bit of trivia, everybody. There you go. So, next course. I think it's coffee. <laughs> no, know. shit, Sherlock. Well, it, what makes you think that? It, it's sort of a clue, isn't it? You might get a soup, oval tea. Uh, no, I think it might be coffee. Bovril? No, it's no, coffee. coffee. But how are you going to have yours? Are you going to have it? Are you going to ask for cream? Are you going to have it black? Uh, are you going to have a Grand Marnier? I've run out of wine, and I don't know what to do. You don't. You don't know what to do. You mean you don't know whether to go and steal it from no, somebody else's table? No, I don't know whether to say, okay, enough is enough. I don't need any more, or whether I want to have a Grand Marnier. I tell you what then, if you're saying enough is enough, you don't need any more, that's a song, isn't it? Enough is enough is enough, I can go on, I can go on, no more, no, whatever. Anyway, um, what do you What? <laughs> why don't you have a sparkling water? It doesn't have the same... Effect. Effect. No. Um, we'll get you posted what she decides on. So you got your coffee? I got my coffee. I didn't get any cream though. No. Because apparently, if I go for cream, it's going to take them ages because they've now got to go to the main dining. But you had you had the option of milk. I had the option of milk, yes. You just and. You just thought they kept a little tiny bit of cream. But never oh, okay. Um, we've ordered another bottle of wine for the entertainment. Mm. Okay, so that was the decision then, wasn't it? It was. So we've ordered another bottle. And that's it. I think, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, there's obviously the entertainment coming next. And we've now been going what? It's now um, 20, 30 plus. Us. It's half past eight. So we've been in here for two hours already. Yeah, we've been in here for two Just hours. Just under two hours. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and we've still got the entertainment, and yeah. it's a lovely evening. And it's there's a some lovely, lovely people already talking to beside us. Yeah. Um, and that's it. So, if that's been of any interest, and you're coming on Britannia, and you're going to the limelight, or indeed if you're going on to any of the other PO cruise ships with the limelight, this is what you expect. Mrs. T's going to do a, na, 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 a impression sorry. of a Dalek. I'm just going to, I'm just going to have a chat with Mrs. Uh, T because Daleks don't go nanu nanu. They go, I am a Dalek exterminate. So here we go. I am a Dalek exterminate. Okay, thanks. Brilliant. On that note, I think it's time we went. Um, thanks everybody. Love you. If this has been of interest, please give us a thumbs up. Hit that red button and subscribe. The more subscribes, what did you say? Yeah, well, I know what I said. Um, thanks for watching everybody. Lovely to see you all again. And bye for now.